Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iPad OS 14 developer beta one. Now, really by the time you're watching this and the time I'm recording it, they released it yesterday, but I already put out videos of iOS 14 and watch OS seven. Apple also released Mac OS 11 big Sur, and I'll have a video on that a little bit later. Now this has a lot of changes and came in at a very large 4.06 gigabytes on my iPad pro 12.9 from 2020. So you can see this is the new version with the LIDAR ca camera or sensor on there. And so this particular update brings a lot of changes, but I covered an awful lot of changes on iOS 14. Now there's a lot of similarities between both of them. So if you want to see every little detail, I did a 20 seven minute video on iOS 14 covering everything I could. So I'm going to cover just things that are specific to the iPad. And so the first thing you'll want to know is that this iPad is new, but iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 support all of the same devices that iPad OS 13 supported. So if you have an iPad air two, it's supported. Everything in the list you see here is supported. Now iPad OS also has the exact same build number as iOS 14. So we'll take a look here. You can see the build number is 18, a five, three, zero one V. And like I said, it's the exact same build number. So they're basically the same thing with a few added features to the iPad. Now, the first new thing is widgets. You'll see that there's widgets just like we have on iOS 14. So if I press and hold on weather and let go, it starts to jiggle. Now it's a little bit buggy to control, but we have these widgets. You can keep them on the home screen. Like before you can edit them, add whatever you'd like. However, you don't have multiple size widgets that you can put all over the OS. So if I drag this over here, you can't put it over in the main icons. You also don't get the list view that we have on iOS 14. So if I scroll over on iOS 14 to the end, we've got the app library and also a list view if we want to search. So we don't get that with iPad OS, but that's okay because we have some updates with search itself. So search on iPad OS has been updated as well as iOS, but you can search for whatever you'd want. So if you want to search the web for Apple, maybe, you can open the app store. You can see where it says Apple inside a note. You can see official Apple cases, Apple's website, and it helps you search everything very quickly. You can launch an app very quickly by typing app, maybe app store, and we open the app store. So it's a nice way to search everything throughout. It's been redone from the ground up and it's got a lot of new features that can search within documents, apps, web searches, websites, and more. Now, something they've added throughout iPad OS that reminds me a lot of the Mac is a sidebar. It's kind of everywhere in iPad OS. So you'll see there's a sidebar in movies. Maybe I want to go into the files app. We can go into files. We have a sidebar. We can sort that sidebar. We can connect to a server edit sidebar here. We can edit this however we'd like, and there's a sidebar throughout and they've added it to notes files. If we go into photos, we'll go out of this photo and we can zoom way out. It's a new pinch to zoom feature within photos, but on the side, you have a sidebar. So you've got all the sidebar you can sort and everything else. And it's just kind of all throughout to bring consistency to the iPad. So it's pretty nice that it's there. Now within music, we also get a sidebar and we can play music full screen with lyrics. So for example, let me go into a song. I'll have to pause it for copyright reasons, but let's go ahead and play a song so we can go full screen with real time lyrics if it supports real time lyrics. So if you have it, you'll have that there. You can sing along, do whatever you'd like and just bring it back down like that. So we go back and again, if we go into something like this one here, we can bring in real time lyrics. So tap the lyric and go to where you'd like, pull this back down and exit out of it. So it's a nice little addition to music. Now Siri has been updated as well as on iPhone, but also on iPad, they've made it really convenient. And if you press and hold the power button here, we've got Siri in the bottom, right? dictating what we have to say. So it can do all of the new searches that it can on iOS 14, as well as dictate text throughout. And let's ask it what the weather is. So you'll see it's thinking it says, I'm sorry. Of course, it's not going to understand that. What's the weather today? And you'll see it gives me the weather. So it's a nice little clean interface. You can ask it more complicated questions. It's gotten smarter and you can ask it phrases and things like that. So 
what did you think of WWDC 2020? And you'll see, I may be biased, but those are some of my favorites. And then you can go to developer.apple.com. It brings you to that link. So it's really nice. It's out of the way. And another thing that's out of the way is the new call UI, just like it is on iPhone. So if I place a call to myself, it comes in at the top here, I can decline it or pick it up and it stays out of the way and I can dismiss it. Now there is an option to make it larger and full screen if you want that again, but it's nice that it's minimal and stays out of the way. Now in Safari, they've updated it just like iOS 14. So if you tap the two A's here, you can translate a website. You can see the tracking history or the tracking report. If there is one, you'll see what's been tracked. You have known trackers, you'll see Google, and it tells you exactly what's being tracked. So that's built in, built in translation. Now, all of those features from iOS 14 are on the iPad, but the iPad has something different with the Apple pencil. So if we take the Apple pencil off and I go to settings, you'll see under Apple pencil on the left, we have some options and we have a new option scribble. And if scribble is turned on, it allows us to use pen or pencil input throughout the OS. So if I go to Safari, for example, I go in here, maybe I want to go to Apple. That's my terrible writing but you'll see it tries to translate it. So let me try that again. You can write in there, it will translate it to apple.com and then you can hit search down at the bottom if you want, so you can navigate with the pencil. So it's super easy to navigate and they've updated notes as well with some new pencil support. Now, if we go into notes, there's some new options in notes. So you'll see, I typed this out already, and then I can move this up and down. It says, this is iPad OS 14 using the new Apple pencil features. And then I wrote, this is a note and put the date. It will now understand context. If I start writing, I can just say hello. And that's nice that it's there, of course, but maybe I want to draw a circle and have it perfect. If I hold the circle at the end, it's perfect. If I do a square hold at the end, it makes a square. As long as you hold at the end, it will recognize shapes. So that's a nice new feature and it's built into notes. Now notes has another new feature as well. That's really nice. So if we double tap on this note, we'll expand it out here and maybe bring it down. What we can do is tap on this and then copy as text. And if we copy as text and then go over to say pages, we can paste as text. So we paste it and then it translates what we just wrote with handwriting into an actual typed note. So it's just built into the OS and that will work with anything you write within notes. Now, if I go back to Safari and tap in here and maybe we want to go to Zolotech.com, you'll see it translates that with no problem. Maybe I want to get rid of that. I can scribble. It goes away. If I type Apple or Let's get rid of that again. We'll write Apple. And maybe I want to change the text. I can double tap it. I can swipe up to split the text or swipe down. There's all sorts of new features built in for Scribble and it's super easy to use. So the pencil has been updated with new features that allow you to use it on all the iPads that support Apple pencil. So you have those options on all of them. Now, Apple has also updated AR kit to AR kit four for the iPad. So there will be more features that will use the LIDAR sensor for future updates. So with the camera, with LIDAR in the background, we'll have that option. Some people have been asking me, do you have the option for exposure control in the new iPad? And it's just not here, but with the iPhone, you get that. So it's a nice little update to the iPad. There are all of the same settings. Like I said, you've got all the accessibility settings, the messaging updates and everything else that you get with iOS, but on iPad OS, but I wanted to cover what was specific to the iPad that's here. There is one more thing to show you, and that has to do with emoji. If you're using a keyboard, so maybe you're using the magic keyboard. Now with the keyboard attached, there's new updates for a popover keyboard for emoji. So we'll go into notes. Maybe we want to type up here and let's hit the little globe icon. We get a little pop-up keyboard of emoji specifically. So we can go through all our emoji and put in whatever we want. So 
put a soccer ball or whatever you'd like. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to type and you want to get quick set quick access to that emoji. So that's really it for iPad OS and iPad OS has a lot of new features and I really am excited to see what iPad OS iOS 14 and Mac OS Big Sur have together combined once everything's out, they should work really well together. So let me know what you think of iPad OS 14 in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your favorite feature is. And if you've found anything else new, I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear from you as well. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.